What is your value? Would you ever think that you would be worth absolutely everything to God? God literally put himself on the chopping block for you. He sacrificed his son, Jesus Christ, specifically so that he could have you back to be with him. In Romans 8, 31 and 32, If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? An earthly father wrote this, I'll be right behind you, son. I'll always be near. I will follow where you want to go. You have nothing to fear. God was literally showing us how much he loves us by giving up his own son. In a different translation of Romans 8, 31 and 33, so what does this all mean? If God is determined to stand with us, tell me, who then could ever stand against us? When I was a little boy, I used to have arguments with my friends in the schoolyard, and we would be talking about whose father was stronger, whose father could beat the other father up. At that time, I didn't see myself as a child of God. I saw myself as a child of a man. A child of God would always win that argument. For God has proved his love by giving us his greatest treasure, the gift of his Son. And since God freely offered him up as the sacrifice for us all, certainly won't withhold from us anything else he has to give. Who then could dare accuse those whom God has chosen in love to be his? God himself is the judge who has issued the final verdict over them, not guilty. Abraham was asked to slay his only son Isaac in order to prove the faith that he had in God. Although God spared Abraham's son Isaac, he would not spare his own son, Jesus Christ. In Genesis 22:16, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you, Abraham, have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will bless you and your descendants. Isaiah says, the one who makes me righteous is close to me. Who would dare challenge me now? Who would be my opponent? The creator of all things, the all-powerful one who sees you as his child because you are his child. When you are faced with difficult circumstances, keep on believing in Jesus' love that was demonstrated on the cross for you, and he will cause whatever the devil meant for evil to be turned around for good and for his glory. It is important that you believe with all your heart that God is for you and not against you. His truth, his righteousness, his gospel, his salvation, his word, and his spirit declare that your sins have been punished on the cross. God is on your side, and if God is for you, who can be against you? God created you, he claims you as his child, and he will protect you with all the power that he has, and he is all-powerful. To be absolutely certain that you are saved, declare these words from Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. That is the simplicity of salvation, believing and saying with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord, and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be in the kingdom of God forever through everything that Jesus has done for you. Share this with everyone. God bless you. Amen.